Howdy, sports fans. Are you good, good, good. Whether people want to admit it or not, and I'm sure a lot of people can get very mad at me for saying this, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is one of the most influential and important games of all time. So you have chosen death. Releasing at a time when Call of Duty was kind of just sleepwalking along each year, and Battle Royale was just a cool Japanese movie, PUBG really changed the game in more ways than one. But how many people still play PUBG in 2021, and is it a dead game? I, I can't believe I have to clarify this, but no, no it isn't. Usually said by people who sit in a dark room tweeting all day so that they can feel something, anything, their stream of fart causing a kind of stinky hot wheel circuit of brain damage because they don't go outside and basically just consume their own ass blast 24-7, dead games almost never are. Though not the first game of its type, PUBG really took the ball that the likes of H1Z1 had so emphatically dropped and ran with it, smashing records everywhere you looked. Players dropped into a gigantic map with just the one life, ratcheting up the tension as they scavenged for weapons with the circle closing in. It was like video game amphetamine for millions at the time of launch. So it shouldn't be a surprise to see how much it was emulated with many, 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 many Battle Royale games springing up in no time at all. While PUBG isn't in the public eye quite as clearly as it once was, it's still undeniably a massive game. Anyone claiming it's a dead game is way, way off the mark and suffering from the aforementioned brain fart damage. In fact, PUBG remains one of the most popular games in the world today and will be for many, many years to come. Tell you what, I sure I've said many a lot of times in this video, haven't I? Hey, you know what, you may as well call me Many Pacquiao, eh? Ugh. Here's everything you need to know about the current popularity of PUBG in terms of concurrent players and Twitch presence, and what its future may hold. Before then though, if you could slap the subscribe and tickle the like, you'll be a winner winner of our hearts. When looking at the declining player figures of PUBG, you have to do so in the right kind of context. No game has ever really matched PUBG at its absolute peak in terms of player base, at least in numbers that can be tracked thanks to Steam, so a decline is almost really inevitable. At its absolute zenith, PUBG hit player numbers that may never ever be reached by any game ever again. In its first year of release, PUBG reached a frankly staggering <coughs> 3,236,027 concurrent players on October 10th, 2017. Wow. For comparison, CSGO, currently the most popular game on Steam that's also available for free to everyone, has only ever managed a peak of 1,305,714 players. Even when Steam itself had more concurrent players than ever in 2020 because of the event that we do not speak of, no game has been able to even really nearly match PUBG. No game will ever be able to maintain that kind of initial momentum too, and that much is certainly true of PUBG itself. However, any game that is consistently in the top 10 most played games charts on Steam can hardly be qualified as a dead game. PUBG is still going incredibly strong. In March 2021, PUBG reached a peak of 464,480 players, with 193,114 players on average. Those player figures were enough to keep PUBG in the top 3 most played games throughout the whole of 2020. On paper, it's a pretty big drop overall, but again, it's all about that context. PUBG actually wouldn't drop below 2 million peak players until June 2018, then under a million in November. Despite picking up in December 2018 and January 2019, PUBG would continue to trend downwards, but still in higher numbers than most games ever have. October 2020 represented the lowest point for the game to date since June 2017 in terms of peak players, but any game that can average nearly 200,000 players can never really be sniffed at. Whenever people count PUBG out, it tends to smash another record. While the death of PUBG Lite, which is a less intensive version of PUBG for lower end machines, might have sent people into a panic, the PUBG brand is really as strong as ever, and that's largely down to its mobile counterpart. PUBG Mobile is the second most popular mobile game in the US as of April 2021 and has raked in a quite astonishing, and this makes me want to cry, $5.1 billion in just over three years. What? 
to put that into context, GTA 5 has generated $6 billion as of 2018, but had been out for 5 years at that point and re-released on multiple platforms. PUBG Mobile has also been downloaded one billion times since launch, and while a lot of that is almost certainly down to people getting new phones fairly often, it's not something to bulk at nevertheless. Really, if you're talking about PUBG at all these days, you might need to start talking about PUBG Mobile by default, as that's just about the biggest game there is. When you combine PUBG Mobile with Steam and also its still fairly popular console versions, there's no doubting the power of the franchise. So how is PUBG faring on Twitch and YouTube? Well, yeah, pretty decent. Just like Steam, games tend to dip in and out of popularity on Twitch very hard. Who remembers Hyperscape being everywhere one day and then nowhere the next? Better yet, who remembers Hyperscape? Like, you know, at all, generally speaking here. Anyone? Hello? Comment down below please. With that in mind, Twitch doesn't seem like a popular spot for PUBG fans these days. Compared to the 597,663 peak viewers the game had in July 2018, March 2021 had a peak of just 153,000 viewers. Yeah, that's a pretty steep decline, that's probably down to the likes of Shroud no longer playing the game, but PUBG still resides in the top 30 most watched games on Twitch regardless. However, it's also worth noting that Twitch really isn't the main place that fans consume their PUBG content these days. PUBG Mobile was the 5th most streamed game of 2020 on YouTube, and while its PC version might not be anywhere near as impressive in terms of sheer numbers, it's still carving a nice little space for itself. So, while PUBG's traditional version isn't all the rage on streaming and content platforms these days, the PUBG brand is, again, incredibly strong and won't be going anywhere anytime soon. It's pretty hard to argue against PUBG as the game it first launched as, being a bit on the decline. Its player figures aren't quite what they were, but it still boasts hundreds of thousands of players on Steam at pretty much any given time. To reiterate a bit of a tired point, PUBG is nowhere close to a dead game. In terms of PUBG as a franchise though, it's really thriving. PUBG Mobile is likely to claim a few more billion dollars over the coming years and is sure to be seen all over YouTube and elsewhere for a long time yet. Even if the PC market goes off the game completely, which is unlikely considering they're still pumping out content for it and keeping things fresh, PUBG Core will likely have PUBG Mobile as their main breadwinner for a long time yet. They're even releasing a futuristic spin-off called New State, simply because they can, which already has 10 million people eager to play it. And in the unlikely event that PUBG does die completely, there's always the sequel. They're hard at work on PUBG 2, which is slated to release in 2022 for PC and consoles. While it's hard to imagine that it will ever reach the crazy, crazy peak that the original game did, any follow-up is bound to bring lapsed players back aboard. It's also worth bearing in mind that PUBG Core are building a PUBG universe, presumably with the aim of looking beyond Battle Royale, itself perhaps not the fresh new thing it once was. That's what Fortnite is doing as well. The Kalisto Protocol is a super cool looking survival horror game from the mind behind the sublime dead space that's set hundreds of years after the events of PUBG, due for launch sometime in 2022. If that's a success, you can bet that more games in the PUBG universe will be bankrolled in the future. However, there's one thing that's standing in PUBG's way more than anything, Garena Free Fire. Whereas before PUBG vs Fortnite was the battle on everyone's lips, it should now really be PUBG vs Free Fire as the latter overtook it to become the most popular mobile game in the US and is also beating it in terms of viewership on places like YouTube. For whatever reason, Free Fire isn't known as globally as others, but it makes an absolute killing in the Asian markets and now recently in the US. But weirdly, it doesn't seem to be making any kind of headlines, which... Hmm. How PUBG can topple it remains to be seen, but considering it's a franchise that has now gone through more than its fair share of battles over the years, never count it out. So there you go then, is PUBG a dead game? And to that, no I say, no is the answer that I give you to that question that you've proposed there. If this video gets more than 100 likes, I will snort an egg, but until then, thank you for watching.